the next tool to look at is PyTorch. PyTorch is an open source machine learning framework. It's based on Python programming language and Torch library. It's uh, one of the preferred platforms for uh, deep learning research. It's a framework which is built uh, to speed up the process between research prototyping and deployment. So this uh, is the one which uh, is favorite of the researchers because it narrows down the process between pro prototyping and the deployment. The used uh, commonly for uh, computer vision and uh, natural language processing applications. So it's a uh, production ready. Uh, transition seemingly between eager and uh, graph modes with the uh, script accelerate the path to production with dot serve so the PyTorch comes with the distributed training facilities scalable distributed training and performance optimization in research and production is enabled by torch dot distributed backend robust ecosystem is provided by PyTorch a rich ecosystem of tools and libraries extends PyTorch and supports development in computer vision natural language processing and many more such issues the PyTorch will provide cloud support well supported by major cloud platforms providing uh, frictionless uh, development and easy scaling. So just a workflow for the PyTorch. So the first uh, is to get the data ready. So the whatever data we have uh, is turned into tensors. Then PyTorch is used to build the model or pick up retained model that suits to the problem. So while uh, picking any model, uh, we pick a loss function and optimizer and then build a training loop. And this process is repeated till we get a best model for our purpose. Either uh, we build a model or any pre-trained model available with by PyTorch may be used. Then once the model is decided, then the model is fit with the data and is ready for making prediction. Then evaluate the model and if there are any flaws, we keep improving through experimentations. And finally, the model is uh, saved and reloaded whenever it is required. So that's uh, the workflow of my torch. So it can be presented in another way. So we have data source. From the data source, uh, we get sample tensors. A multiprocess data loading is possible that is uh, converged into batch tensors then it is used under training loop the training is done in a distributed training on multiple servers and gpus and finally trained model is available for usage that may be deployed onto the production server that is uh, online servers, on site servers, or the cloud. The deep learning pipeline, uh, which uh, uses the PyTorch 
has the deep learning tools and distributed hosting frameworks and cluster. So here it begins with data and streaming and then the users data preparation and analysis is done and finally the frameworks where PyTorch is available and then PyTorch provides produces the model and these models are finally used to serve the clients. So that's uh, an overview about PyTorch. More details are available online and in, in the future sessions when we are dealing with uh, deep learning, we do again discuss about uh, the tools related with deep learning like PyTorch and all in detail. So keep watching for other tools in this series. So see you.